And the, uh, the UK government has launched a major cloud computing yeah. push earlier this year with the, the G Cloud, so it's packaged services that yeah. are signed up on a one-year basis. Is this the right approach for government and will this help improve uh, technology use within the public sector? Yeah, I mean, I personally, I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's, 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 it's refreshing. Um, having dealt with government on and for over a number of years, it's a real indication of the, the guys in government saying, we want to do things differently. Uh, we want a more agile approach, a fresh approach. And I think the other nice thing is the recognition, particularly with G Cloud, for example, we won't get it right first time. But we're going to start the ball rolling, we're going to shake a few things up, we're going to make things more transparent and open, and we're going to drive more efficient use of IT. And I think, I mean, again, it, it, it's, you know, there's it's two aspects to this. There's the IT itself, and there's also what it actually delivers to us as citizens, and that's a bit where I get excited. I think the opportunity for government through better IT procurement, IT usage, more agile use of IT, is to just create more effective and more focused and personalised services for you and I at the end of the day, and I think that's exciting. Mm. I mean, there's almost a sense that there's a kind of a uh, once-in-a-generation chance to just rethink how we as a country deliver services uh, to the community. So exciting times, but, but in terms of the framework, the GCAL framework, absolutely, I think it, it's great, and I think uh, in terms of what the government's doing around some of the other frameworks they're bringing out as well, they are trying to open up the market, make it transparent, make pricing transparent, um, keep everybody honest, and just change people's thinking. It doesn't have to be a four-year contract. With all of these things, why shouldn't it be on a one-year rolling contract? If technology changes during that time frame, why shouldn't you be able to adopt something new and, and innovative that can support better services rather than being tied into a system that keeps you with the same old, same old for four years? I think it's just a completely refreshing approach to things. Mm. And as you say, many of the uh, government contracts of the past have been le lengthy, expensive, complex or 10-year deals that we, we see the headlines about the amount of, of billions wasted on certain IT projects. Um, so it sounds like it's a great deal for government, it's a great deal for citizens. Um, how about for the companies like Edgeserve who are currently public sector IT suppliers? What will the long-term impact be? That's a very good question. I mean, just, I just want to come back to one point you made in the question about the existing IT. I think it's, you hear a lot of bad mouthing about the big IT contracts over the last 10 years. I mean, the reality is, of course, there were some very good IT contracts and it served a purpose. I think during the sort of the 2000s, although there were a lot of well publicised failures, equally or an equal number of um, very successful projects that were completed. And a lot of government and other public sector organisations have benefited greatly from the help and expertise that they were given by particularly large SIs, for example. So, you know, that was a particular era, and I think to some extent ICT technologies have had to come of age, and I think we've reached that point now where they have done, and it's time to say, okay, we need to break the past and go with the new. I mean, from a supplier's point of view, um, perhaps I'm biased because I'm a, you know, represent a small organisation um, with a particular ethos being not for profit, but I think it represents fantastic opportunity. I mean, and, and the opportunity for us as EduServe is not just to deliver ICT solutions and that's it, it's to deliver ICT solutions that can change the way government and first sector organisations do business and create services for us, and that's the exciting part. Because at the end of the day, if you're just doing ICT for ICT's sake, well, that's interesting, but not a life changing. But I think we get passionate about, as I say, that fact that we can hopefully be influential in helping organisations in government just change and shape the way things are done. Um, it's exciting. I mean, I was at a, we had a presentation last week I attended where one of the think tank people uh, talked about how, you know, why shouldn't government deliver services in the same way that someone like a Walmart or an Amazon does? You know, very tailored, very agile. You know, if, if a different areas need different types of services, why not deliver that in a different way? And although that's easy to say and perhaps hard to deliver, I think setting off on that journey is a fantastic opportunity. And we as a supplier, I think, I think it, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't underestimate how enthusiastic we are about it. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. That's uh, really interesting. Thanks very much for joining us today, Andrew. And it'll be interesting to see how the, uh, the cloud computing model pans out in government and, and elsewhere. Thank you very much.